do a RTX voice. If you haven't heard what RTX voice is all about, um, hold on one sec. Let's pull up this website real quick and we'll turn on <clears throat> the old desktop. Here we go. So if you have an NVIDIA card, uh, RTX or GTX card, um, and I believe it should work with pretty much any card you got as long as you got this driver 4.10.18 uh, or newer and on Windows 10. So what this does is basically it filters out. So like I'm on a Wave 3 right now. I don't have any filters on this mic whatsoever. This is my pure raw voice. Um, and I miss RTX because I just went to a, a, a 5700 XT. So I will not be able to install it on this computer fully but i will take you through the steps on how to do so there are some tutorials out on, online but they fail to uh, elaborate on one critical step so i'm going to go over that as well but um let's go ahead and take a look real quick at rtx voice in action there's a pretty popular guy on youtube that actually did a video and we'll go ahead and show you Hold on, I gotta go ahead and uh, get my browser audio going here. Uh, let's see, browser. Let's rewind this back a little bit. Now hit play. This is really pushing there we the go. limits because I don't think this is a realistic scenario. This will hurt your hearing. But let's see what RTX can do. Let's turn the filter on. Okay, now I got. Oh wait, hold on. All right, so now I got the RTX filter on at 100%. I don't know how much better it sounds, but this is super duper loud. I can't even hear myself talking right now. That's how loud it is. Can you guys actually make out what I'm saying right now? Like, can you clearly hear what I'm saying with this right next to the microphone like this? Because I can't even hear myself speaking right now. That's how loud this is. I have no idea how this is even possible, but let me turn it off. That's what the filter off. That's what the environment really sounds like right now. Pure fucking magic. So there you go. So this can be downloaded uh, right here. So you download the app, save it to your computer. I'll try to get this thing installed. We'll see what happens here. It's obviously not gonna install for me, so I'll have to uninstall this, but I'll run you through the, the steps here. So it's going to be this first part is what you're going to have to modify if you're not if you're not on an RTX card. If you're on an NVIDIA card that has CUDA um, CUDA cores in it, it will work. If you have an RTX card, it's going to use your Tensor cores for AI. Let's go ahead and we'll run this installer. Yes, it did. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it's gonna it's gonna tell you this. If you have a non RTX card, you're gonna get this little error here. So what you need to do is go to your computer and go to your C drive and oh, and your C colon your C hard drive and then RTX. RTX voice. So your C temp and then you should have these this uh, NV what is it? NV RTX voice folder. You're going to double click on that and then I believe it's this uh, one that ends in VAD. Nope, not that one. So this one? Nope, not that one. Top one. So this top top folder here and N lowercase v afx double click in there and then you're going to have this uh, rtx voice.nvi file 
And so you're going to want to right click on that and then you're going to open. I think this is right. Let's see here. Open with Notepad. Click OK. Yep, there we go. Okay, so you're going to get a file like this and it looks crazy. But what you have here is constraints. And this is all in the tutorial line. So we're going to take away this constraints lines right here. We're just going to delete that. It's basically checking to see if you have an RTX card. Actually, that's the wrong one. Sorry. Dependencies. Package type equals requires package RTX voice driver. All right. So we're going to take out dependencies. Hold on. Let me make sure that's right. RTX. Because now I'm double. Um, Second guess myself. As you can see, I've been here before. All right, yeah, constraints. So it's going to be constraints. You're going to take that out. Uh, let's go back here. Yeah, yeah, so I was right. Constraints. Okay, so we'll delete that. And then we're going to save this. And it's going to give you this error. It's going to want you to save it as. And I don't think see uh, you don't have permission to save here so we're gonna go back to the let's, let's just go back to desktop and so we'll save it there so now we have <clears throat> so we have our file in here now we this is not this file hasn't changed because we couldn't we couldn't overwrite that that file that we just saved so what we want to do <clears throat> is go to our desktop find that file we just saved uh, it helps if you don't have a million icons on your desktop. Okay, so here it is. And notice uh, if it doesn't show the dot text back on the on the bit back here, what you want to do is hit this view and click file name extensions. Make sure that's got a click there so you can see the extension that it appended to the end. And then we're going to go ahead and delete the text. The dot txt. It's going to ask you if you're sure. Say yes. Okay, so this is our edited file. <clears throat> we're going to cut this. And we're going to go back in here and we're going to paste it in here. And we're going to click replace the file in the destination. Yes, it's going to give you, you'll need administrator permission to move this file. We're going to hit continue. All right, so now that's our edited file. But there's one more step that, that leaves out online. We're going to right click on this. We're going to go down to properties. And under security, See how it says no groups or users have permission to access this object. However, the owner of the object can assign permissions. Okay, so we are the owner. And what that means is, is we need to add, we need to change the permissions. So we're going to click edit, and then we're going to add a user. And you're going to want to put uh, your login for your PC. So your admin account. So I think Pines Repairs uh, yeah, so it's like your Microsoft login repairs at firstaidcellular.com. So we hit check names. Okay, and then so there it's got the admin name. So you're going to hit OK. And then you're going to allow full control over everything. You're going to hit apply, OK, and OK. Now you can go back to the setup. I don't think it'll run on here, but we'll try. Yes, yeah, so see now now we don't get the little the little error. So now it's gonna install it. And I have an AMD card in here, so I have no idea what's gonna happen. If this will work or not. Okay, so we went ahead and installed it. Now you're gonna get this little pop-up here. And what's cool about this is it'll filter. Yeah, see, I get this. I need to start microphone denoising. But if you had an RTX card, it's going to pop up a screen, and it'll have one for your microphone and one for your speakers. So your speakers, you can actually enable it for that. So if you go watch like this noisy video here, every time he's disabled his, and you can hear them, you can hear the uh, vacuum running. 
it will actually remove that noise. So very cool stuff. So yeah, here we go. So I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I won't. It's not gonna let me enable it because I'm I don't have any CUDA cores in my computer, and I don't know if I could actually install a secondary card. I might try that and uh, post an update in the comments if if that worked or not. But I do have some you know lower end Nvidia cards laying around that I might be able to put in as a secondary card, and I don't know if that's gonna affect uh, my PC at all if I if I were to do that. Having an Nvidia and an AMD card in a computer, I've never done that before, so I don't even know if that would work, but. Um, something interesting to try out. I don't know if I'll actually do that. But if somebody does that, uh, leave a comment below and let me know if that actually worked and uh, if it affected your gaming performance at all, having two different cards in there like that. Um, but anyway, just wanted to show that real quick and let me know if uh, that helps you out. Thanks.